Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're gonna be talking about math curriculum, teaching textbooks in specific, and why our family loves that. Before we jump in, I just wanna say I post videos every Wednesday and Saturday on making the most of the little moments in homeschooling, parenting, home management, and everything in between. And if those are topics that interest you, I would love if you would take a second to subscribe. So let's jump into what I think about teaching textbooks and a few things that I've learned along the way that I think you might find helpful. So let's get started. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna be touching up, talking about teaching textbooks, math curriculum, and just wanted to kind of give you guys my general thoughts. We have been using math lessons for a living education for several years now and love it. I honestly do not have um, a lot of things that I don't like about it, but we more of my kids were getting to the age where they needed a more serious workload. And so because of that, mom just needed a little piece taken off of her shoulder. I still have kids that are fairly young and I still have several who are struggling readers. So a lot of work is very dependent on mom being one-on-one -on -one with them. So having one more thing that maybe just could be a little bit more independent was super helpful this year. So we switched over to teaching textbooks, not because we didn't like the other, but just because of the circumstances. Also, my uh, sons are both taking this and they are both much more visual learners and do a lot better with the computer. So they've it's been interesting to see them just thrive on having it in this context. So initially, let me explain, teaching textbooks um, started out as, as a CD you would put into your computer and it would teach you the lessons. It explains how to do it and why we do it that way. And I just love that about this curriculum. So when it first came out, it started out like that. And then you had a workbook that you went through to answer the questions. Um, so that was sort of the 1.0 version. Then the 2.0 came out. The way that that works is it's everything's in the CD. So it's all self grading. It, asks, it teaches the kids a lesson, it asks them the questions, they input it, and it automatically gives them a grade and a response on that of whether they got it right or wrong. For problems that are not multiple choice or true or false, they get two tries. Ones that are those, they only get one. Um, they This keeps them from just guessing and guessing and guessing. You can go in, you can see as a parent what grade they got. You can see which ones they got wrong. You can see which ones they tried multiple times. You can go in and reassign them a question if you feel like they need another try, or you can go in and change something. I've had it before where my kids have told me the right answer, they've shown me the right answer, and they just accidentally clicked on the wrong one. Um, so they were able, I was able to go back in and tweak and adjust that. Um, I love the fact that it's all done on the computer. Now, now then there's the 3.0 version. Um, that's the newest version. It is the same content as the 2.0, but basically it is internet based and it can be done on your tablet, on your phone, on your computer. You can have it on multiple devices at one time. You get an account per child. They do have discounts if you have multiple kids and different um, grades and then you go through the program and it's you know awesome that you can do it all online and so we came down and we tried to decide which would be the best method for us and personally after a lot of prayer and just kind of looking through the pros and the cons we decided to go with the CDs and with the book and part of that is because I purchased it one time and then I'm able to reuse it for all of my kids and um, as they come up through the grades whereas with the online curriculum I would have to pay um, per year that they were doing it, whether they were doing the same one or you know whether they were doing it after their sibling or not. But there are a lot of other benefits to doing the online. So please don't hear me say that this is better than the online. It's just because we had so many students so close in age, they're just one year right after the other, it just made sense to go ahead and buy the CD and let them use it you know, time after time. So, um, so there's that. So all of this is done on the computer, but they also have some other resources for you. They have an answer booklet to all of the questions. So as mom, if you need to quick flip through and um, find the answer for the question, you can. They also have a student book. Now, I don't have my kids write in this book, but what I love about this book, it has all of the lessons written out for me, scripted, everything that's on the computer program is right here and it's got all the problems that it's asking my child written out in here. So the way we use this is we have it so that, you know, if they have been working on it for a couple of days and I don't know exactly what they've covered or what they haven't, I can do a quick refresh really fast 
by flipping through this book and looking over what lesson they're on to be able to help them and instruct them in that problem. But we also use this if for some reason, you know, we're traveling and we're not able to use it. That's where having the 3.0 might be helpful because you could do it on any device. But if we're not able to use our computer or maybe the CDs have gotten lost or whatever it is, I'm able to use this. They can fill out their answers on paper and then later on we can just enter them into the computer program and they can, you know, auto grade that for us. So um, there's a lot of ways that it can be used. Also, if you have multiple kids, you could that are going through the same level at the same time at the same pace, which we don't do this because mine go through it at a different pace. You could have them watch the lesson together and then one answer on the computer, one answer on paper. So just an added bonus, not something you have to get, but that's kind of why we like to get it. Obviously, I'm very in favor of it. It did take something off of my plate, um, and it really sparked a love of math in my boys. Um, I now have them begging to do extra math, which was not necessarily the case um, before. They're doing two or three lessons a day. I had to limit them because I didn't want them to do so much they couldn't retain it. It has just the right amount of review questions so that they're practicing old material, but just plenty of news so that we're not getting stuck in the same thing over and over again. Um, I feel like they're really getting the concepts. It, every time they get one wrong, they actually have the option where they can watch and the computer will teach them how they were supposed to do it correctly and it breaks down everything for them. Another couple of things about the company itself that I love is with DISC, one of my concerns with doing it with so many kids is what happens if one gets lost? What happens if they get scratched beyond repair? Not that that would ever happen with kids, but what happens? Um, it's it's a decent investment, I'm not gonna lie, but it was it seemed to be worth it. Well, I found out that you can actually replace a disc at any given point, um, as long as you have the serial number on the back, you can um, replace a disc for only $15. And that's even if you buy it used from someone else, you don't have to be the original purchaser. Um, so you can replace a disc for $15, which I thought was very affordable. Now, some people I know have talked about how they feel like teaching textbooks is below grade level. They feel like it is not hard enough. And um, there'd be a couple of things I'd say to that. First of all would be, I would challenge what we call grade level and what is age appropriate, developmentally appropriate level. Um, we have come as a society to pushing kids a lot earlier to complete a lot of things. Well, kids are completing in kindergarten is what a lot of us completed as first graders. And developmentally, you know, that doesn't always match up with where our child's abilities are at. So I would encourage you to kind of just consider that, that maybe it is at a level that's a little bit gentler at first, but something that might be more developmentally appropriate. The second thing I would say with that is that um, I have siblings, I have friends, I have many, many people that I know personally who have done this program from the beginning all the way to the end, and they have done their Algebra 1 and their Algebra 2 and their Calculus and their Geometry and all of that, and they've had zero problems um, transitioning into college level math or anything like that. So um, the last thing I would say with that is there are placement tests online that you can take um, that will help you figure out where your child should be. So maybe using a more strenuous second grade math um, and you are worried that the third grade curriculum is a lot of repeat of what you had done in second grade, if you take that placement test, it should be able to tell you whether they fit into the, the math three or the math four. Again, I have to be careful, it's not grade level, it is just levels that there are. They only start out teaching textbooks third grade and up, which was a little frustrating to me because I would have loved to do this for my kindergarten, first and second grade, but I do think it was good because in those younger years, I think it's really important to work on, you know, handwriting those numbers, making sure you're getting them in the right direction, um, because when you're typing the answers in, you miss some of that. So a few words of caution um, slash tips that I would just share with you before I wrap up today is just to be aware that because it's independent does not mean that mom does not need to be involved at all. It just means that it takes a little bit off your load. So I am still very involved in their math. I can overhear when they're getting things wrong. We set up boundaries for ourselves. Different people have different rules, but I set it up such that if they get two problems wrong, I need two problems wrong, um, throughout the lesson they need to stop and they need to make sure and ask for help because I don't want them to continue to get things wrong over and over again and not understanding a concept. 
Also, I do encourage them to write out, unless it says to do it in your head, I encourage them to write out their problems. Um, we were working on recently even just how to properly write out your problems and how we need to label which problem um, this, when we're showing our work, we need to label which problem this goes to and how we need to keep it in straight lines that are neat and, and readable so that we don't mix up numbers from other problems because they were kind of writing all over the page. Um, so we're working on good study habits with that. So don't check out. Don't just give this to your child and walk away and think you're good to go. You do want to be checking in regularly. You do want to be checking grades. Less than an 85, then I need to know and I need to step in and say, is there a concept that maybe you're not getting? I also want to go through with them and um, after they've gotten things wrong, go through and have them explain to me what they did wrong and how it would be done correctly. So they can watch the tutorial that Teaching Textbooks gives on that problem, um, which is great, but I want to hear it in their own words to make sure that it's, that it's really sinking in with them. Another tip is just to have them do it somewhere in public. Like I've talked about before in other videos, we do have all of our personal computers out in the living areas of the house, and I try to have the kids doing math not too far away from me. I have them use headphones. They're not super distracting to their sisters who are working on their work, but I do try to keep them close so I can keep an eye and see if they're struggling um, or see if this is becoming an issue. So all I would say is enjoy the freedom that this math program gives you. It gives you a really good, solid, rounded education, I promise, but um, just be aware that it it doesn't mean no parental involvement, hands off approach, okay? Because we, we wanna make sure that they're getting it. So just be aware of that. Enjoy this curriculum. I love it so much. I cannot recommend it enough. So I hope that's been helpful to you guys. I'd love to hear what you guys use for math. Just because this one works for us does not mean it'll work for you, but hopefully looking through some of those pros and cons, you can decide whether it might be a good fit for you. And also hopefully this will just give you an idea and an overview of the picture. If you wanna know more about what I think the benefits, the pros and cons are to the online, versus the uh, CD set. I can do another video about that, just drop it below. I will also drop links to the placement test below and uh, a link to the free trial. You can actually sign up for a free um, lesson trial. I believe it's 15 lessons, I'll have to check. But um, instead of like a 30 day trial, they can do the first so many lessons um, completely free online. And it, like I said, it's the same content, it's just a different platform. So whether you're deciding to do the CD or online, it's a great way to just kind of get used to it and see if it's something that would work for your child and also kind of help you with placement as well. Um, just a reminder though, like with many things, this math does start out with a lot of review at the beginning. I promise it gets harder. Um, at first I thought it might be a little bit too easy for them, but it's definitely got into the more advanced things it just wants to kind of help you with that review so I hope that's been helpful to you guys I hope you will subscribe to my channel let me know what you think and what videos you'd like to see in the future I look forward to talking to you guys next week bye